This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be taking a first look at Longshot, and I'll give you my first impressions of this champion. He's going to be in the arena soon. And let's take a look at his synergy bonuses here. So his synergy bonuses actually are pretty good. Uh, Captain America Infinity War is a great champion. I have him at rank five. Uh, and Longshot, with him on the team, will start a fight with five good karma when fighting villain champions. That's something to bear in mind. Only when fighting villains. Uh, and of course, you also have OG Captain America, but... That Captain America Infinity War, really good. Uh, this synergy here, Mojoverse, of course, Mojo is not in the game yet, uh, but 50% chance for Mojo not to lose followers. But Longshot, if the opponent is immune to bleed, Longshot Special 1 inflicts degen damage instead. That can be very, very fun. Uh, you've got this Love Triangles with Rogue, Longshot Special 2 has a 42% chance to inflict an additional incinerate for each bad karma removed by Fate Seal. Let me tell you, this is a good, good, very good synergy. Lots more damage, all right? And finally, probably OP, uh, Pure of Heart lasts four seconds longer. Also a very good synergy. So he's got some great synergies. I mean, this is Domino here. And you already know Domino is awesome. I'm going to try to get her in the arena coming up soon. Let's take a look at his abilities here. And I'm not going to read every one of his abilities, but I am going to mention a few things. So his signature ability, I think, is very important. I think that he really needs his signature ability. Now, that's just my first impression. I could be wrong. I have not played with him unawakened i've only got this champion and he's awakened and i'm reading the uh ability here and it looks pretty important for him all right now his passives he is not immune to ability accuracy reduction but he can only have it reduced with a debuff so like archangel his base ability accuracy is 300 percent all right, now you guys can read all of this here if you like. Uh, but basically, when he's stunned and attacked, he's going to lose a good karma. So this, to me, is more when you're fighting him. Okay? And when he has pure of heart, he's going to get that when he reaches five stacks of good karma. Uh, he'll get it for 14 seconds and he'll get bonuses from his special attacks. Uh, and while it can't be stacked, it can be refreshed. All right. So you guys can read the rest of that. The bad karma. All right. Um, you can read that as well. Now for every bad karma, he's going to gain 12% of the power generated by the opponent. So when you watch the gameplay, you're going to see his power going up pretty nicely, okay? And remember, he's Mystic. So Mystic Dispersion, it, I can see that's going to be insane. All right, now, whenever the opponent launches a special attack or a heavy, all bad karma effects are refreshed. So if you can keep baiting out specials, it'll just keep refreshing, refreshing. All right. Now, heavy attacks, you're going to see this in the gameplay. While charging a heavy attack, gain one good karma for 0.4 seconds. So in the gameplay, you're going to notice that I hold his heavy and I charge it for a little bit. This is why I'm trying to gain good karma. All right. Now, 
there's a couple of different ways to play him. I don't do all of the different ways that I have heard about, um, but you can do special one spam or you can do the heavy and the special two, which is what you're going to see me do. All right, but his special one, it'll consume two good karma. Uh, that special one cannot be miss or auto block. So it's going to hit ghost when she's phased. All right. And if pure of heart is active, the first hit inflicts seven instant bleeds, each dealing damage. And that damage benefits from his critical damage multiplier. And we'll take a look at that right after this. Now this special two, this is the beast. And you will see why I say that shortly, but just read it. This special two does insane damage against buffed opponents. So Venom, we're going to take a look at a fight against Venom. Uh, you've got King Groot. Anyone that has a lot of buffs, we're also going to go into um, Act 6 and we'll go on a path that has a resistor node. So you're going to get a chance to see what he can do. All right, so go ahead and read the rest of that on your own. Uh, the special three, stun the opponent for three seconds, three and a half seconds. And I usually use that time to build up and charge the heavy to get more good karma. Uh, this attack gains up to 1,265 attack rating based on his good karma. All right, let's take a look. Uh, quickly at his attributes here and look at his critical damage rating crazy right yes all right so without further ado we're going to get into some gameplay so you guys can see long shot in action all right so for this next fight instead of going into realm of legends against winter soldier which we will do later on i went into act six and there's a resistor path and you saw the active buffs for this node and long shot seems to do extremely well against opponents that have lots of buffs now i don't know the best rotation for long shot this is just my first time playing around with him but what it looks like is that a parry heavy style works out pretty well now Maybe later on, I'll find out a better rotation. But just look at that damage. Look at the damage that Longshot did. Keep in mind, he's a rank three. And I would love to see him at rank five. Let me tell you. All right. So uh, talking with my fellow content creators, some of them seem to have done much better against this black bolt so i was probably doing something wrong you see there i fired off a special one uh so you guys could see that as well uh so you've seen the special two you've seen his special one you've seen his heavy attack when we go into realm of legends you'll also get a chance to see his special three all right but before we do that i want to show you a fight against the Venom boss in Act 4. Now, I like this one because I can go straight to the boss. He's going to have a bunch of links on him, but you can get to him right away. All right, so you see here, there he is right there. I don't have to waste a lot of energy. And what you're going to see right now had a lot of us asking Kabam, are you serious? Are you, are you sure? This is intended. This is what you want. All right. So you see the active buffs for the node. I did not unlink him at all. And you already know Venom gets a lot of buffs. And against Longshot, not a good idea. So you see here, I missed that first parry. But I got that parry, hit him a couple of times, fire off a heavy. All right. 
hit him a couple of times, fire off a heavy. All right, just build up to that special two, which is pretty quick to do, as you see. All right, and here we go. Boom. Look at that. Insane. Okay, but we were told that is exactly what they intended for someone against a uh, long shot that has a lot of buffs. All right, so now we are going to go into Realm of Legends and we're going to fight Winter Soldier. Now, Winter Soldier doesn't have any buffs. So you'll get to see what Longshot can do when he's fighting an opponent without buffs. So you saw how insane that Venom fight was. And remember, he's a rank three. Granted, that was act four. But now we're facing Winter Soldier, no buffs. And I just wanted to play around here with Longshot. And I'll give you my impressions while we're fighting here. Uh, but the style that I went with is parry, heavy, spam the special two. Uh, you can see the power being gained pretty quickly. And just look at that. That's some pretty decent damage. Keep in mind, he's a rank three. I am running suicides. Um, but he is a rank three five star. Just imagine what he's able to do at rank five. His damage is impressive, even when he's fighting someone that doesn't have any buffs. And in the hands of somebody that really doesn't know exactly how best to play him. All right. But let me give you my impressions. My first impressions of Longshot is that he is crazy good against opponents that have a lot of buffs and he is no slouch against champions that don't have buffs and he's got some great synergies and i actually like this guy i like him a lot it's about time we've gotten some pretty bad recent champions you know i'm looking at you nova uh but this guy here he looks like he's the real deal. Just look at this damage. Keep in mind, I'm probably not playing him the best way that I could. Uh, now, talking with some of my other content creators, they were telling me the low hit count they were able to get with him. Uh, one guy was able to do this fight in 114, uh, but another guy was able to do it in 84 hits. Uh, I ended up somewhere in the middle. All right. I think uh, this fight, I think I ended up at 108, something like that, which is impressive considering this is a rank three. Now, he's not suicide friendly at all in the least. Okay. Uh, that was probably my only big turnoff uh, for him. To get the damage, it looks like you're going to be spamming specials. So that means suicides are a no-no. You can see all the damage that I've been taking have been from my suicides, you know, and of course a little bit of the uh, block damage, but mostly it's been the recoil. Because what you want to do is basically spam that special too. But... We were talking and it looks like another burst damage style is to spam the special one. So you actually have a choice as to which way you want to play him. You can do like what I'm doing here, heavies, build up to a special two and fire that off. And when you have that, you know, maxed out good karma, you see I have pure of heart right here. And just look at how much damage I did while that pure of heart was active. It's insane. And again, this is only a rank three champion. I think he is going to go for quite a bit in the arena. Uh, I will be going for the three and the four star as I always do. And I'm really tempted 
to go for him as a five star uh, in the arena. Uh, I may not because again, he's not suicide friendly and I run suicides all the time. So, you know, if you're not one that runs suicides all the time, you want this guy. He is crazy good. Now, you know, Ronan is really good against opponents that have a lot of buffs. You can do some crazy things with Ronan. He does more damage and his stuns last a much longer time when they have buffs. But if they don't have any buffs, you usually don't want to bring Ronan. But Longshot seems to be good even if he's going up against a champion without buffs. He's just insane against champions that do have buffs. All right? So that's going to do it for my first impression of Longshot. Hopefully you learned something. I'm impressed. I don't know if you're impressed, but I'm definitely impressed with this guy. So take care, everyone. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.